So I figured since it's like the first real winter weather we've had so far, I could go through some of my semi-pro dressing tips, I suppose, or how to dress in cold weather for working. Um, so I'll just explain what I got going on here. So start with gloves. I like to have the window open when I'm plowing or salting or whatever. Or if I'm just in the cold and it's not wet or whatever, I'll just wear like some something like this. You know, the, the Flea Farm specialty. You get five five pairs of these for like five bucks. Uh, that's great. Otherwise, if I got to grab some snowy wood or whatever, like I just did, or if I need some extra warmth, go with the old deer hide mittens. So. Get by with both of those. Uh, any winter hat, I suppose, that's comfortable. And then what I got on here, since it's snowing, this is just like a windbreaker to keep me a little bit dry, you know? So. So that's good for windy and, you know, wet conditions, keeps you, keeps you dry. And then I usually go with this sweatshirt here, which it's a Carhartt, but I got it for free, uh, used with some holes in it and whatnot. So that cost me, I got that windbreaker for free actually too. But uh, so yeah, usually something like this, something that zips up all the way to here, keep your neck warm. Um, now underneath that, I go with a sweater, hoodless sweater and then either a long sleeve and then a t-shirt or just today I got a t-shirt because it's like 35 earlier and now it's like 32 and it's only going to get down to like 26 or something tonight so it's not going to be very cold uh, so yeah just hoodie preferably one that zips up keep your neck warm if you need it uh, sweater and then a t-shirt or a long sleeve and then a t-shirt is what I would usually do and that's about it. That's, I put those layers on and then you can take them on, take them off. I don't go, I hardly ever go jacket, like full Carhartt jacket for working. I like being a, the least amount of bulkiness as possible, which brings me to my pants. I used to be like a Carhartt bibs type of guy or a workwear bibs type of guy or whatever, but, uh, or full like, like snowmobile or like coverall suit, like full pants and legs. But I quit doing that. Now I just keep the keep the dickies on. Gotta have the dickies, gotta have the side pockets and all that. Uh, so dickies, long johns, boxers. Uh, that's all I do for pants. And then for boots, I got these Dunlop, uh, steel toe, steel shank, all that stuff. Uh, my dad picked two pairs of these up at like a resale, resale store for 50 bucks a pair. Otherwise, I think they're like 250. But uh, yeah, just completely rubber. Keep your feet dry, which is more than anything. There's some thin insulation or whatever, but uh, main thing is keep them dry. So I just go full rubber, and then the wool socks, obviously. And that's it. You should be good with that. Um, that for me, the least bulkiness, most flexibility, and uh, comfortable, and the ability to put layers on and off uh, easily. Other important thing in cold weather, right here, always have a water bottle. Uh, I just keep reusing the same one. This is actually a Powerade bottle, but uh, Pound water all day, that's important, especially when it's cold out. And then, depending, morning and nights, if I'm working into the night or through the night, like tonight, or in the morning when it's a little bit more chilly out, a hot beverage. I've been hitting coffee for like the last year. I was never really a coffee person, but uh, started to like coffee. But yeah, that, that helps warm you up a bit. Otherwise, like soup, chili for lunch. Uh, I don't know, tea, hot chocolate, whatever. That's optional. Most of the time I just drink water. But uh, yeah, that's it. So, I'm gonna get suited up to go back in the snow. 
If it wasn't snowing and it was 30s, I'd be working in like this and then maybe even taking this off and just wearing a sweater. Um, and that's probably good until like 20. Anything below 20, I might add a long sleeve to a sweater, sweatshirt, and then that's probably good till like zero. And once you get like below zero and the wind's really blowing and whatnot, those are the few five, six times a year I'll put on the full, uh, the full like snowmobile suit or the full coverall suit or whatever. But that's literally only a couple times a year. So otherwise it's just sweatshirts and then long johns. And uh, if you get cold, that means you're not working hard enough. So that or it's just really cold out and then I don't know, just take a fucking minute to warm up so you're not killing yourself, so. <laughs> that is Devin Bain's guide to dressing for winter weather. sleep on the floor last night editing that video I posted yesterday or whenever I posted it so neck is stiff back is stiff it's early but uh, I think we're going on a surf mission today December 2nd 35 degrees out good day for surfing all right Sometimes when it's gonna be a big day, you gotta have a big time meal for breakfast. Mm, that's some good stuff. Taking no L's today, boy. <laughs> Tell you what. Okay, I just suited up. I was out checking a couple spots around town but I think I'm gonna go up here a little bit and uh, I think it's gonna be as good as it gets but um, yeah since no one else is here I grabbed this little action camera or whatever I got this from Walmart for like 30 bucks like two years ago and I had a flip phone yet so I could have a camera um, so I'm gonna th I'm gonna see if I can tie a string to here somehow and wear it as a necklace or something and then maybe grab it and get a little get a little angle or something I don't know I should have maybe set this up before I came out here in case I needed something actually I got a zip tie in there that might work but uh so yeah I'm gonna drive up there and paddle out have some fun for a bit so I ran this through here uh, the latch is over here so it should be all right Unless this plastic breaks, or the string, but yeah, maybe I'll just hang that around my neck and then try to get a shot, but I don't know. It's cheap and super low quality. It was like 20 bucks <laughs> at Walmart. So if I do lose it, not a big deal. I don't ever use this thing anyway, but uh, can't afford a GoPro, so. Oh look, you can see me. Hi. Okay, bye. All right, I'm down this way. Probably gonna paddle out somewhere around here. It's relatively small, and then have the current take me down a little bit, and maybe catch a couple over in this range. But I don't know. It's still pretty choppy, but we'll work with it. I don't know if you can see shit at all even. I'm back home now. It's uh, 1.30. Probably gonna chill out for a bit and then 
Uh, I got some stuff to do around here and then I'm probably gonna have to work because it's supposed to snow around 5 o'clock until about 8 o'clock so I'll probably be working then maybe till about midnight so chill out and get ready for that I suppose let the old dog out here yeah I'm gonna have to go turn the hubs Ice with snow on top. Better put her in four wheel drive. I'm just trying to back it down. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just gotta throw it in four. Just gotta back it down. I was gonna throw some logs in there for a little extra weight. And, uh, because I gotta go to work at 10. Or I gotta be to work, start plowing at 10. So. I gotta turn this shit off, I can't see. I'm alright, back on the road. Go make some money. Woo! Alright. Maybe one less cup of coffee next time. This ain't my first rodeo though. I've had many a one nighters of working. I think I'm gonna go pop this thing on a four wheel drive though. I don't think I'll need it on the road. Let's go! Well, they at least got the county roads cleared off pretty good, salted down pretty good, so it should be a fairly easy drive in. Well, 115. Uh, it didn't even snow in Sheboygan, so I just came in to salt. And uh, yeah, done, done for the night. Got to uh, back this thing up and back what five other trucks up in front of it. So that'll take a couple minutes, but uh, yeah, pretty easy. Okay, bye. Two fifteen. Just got home. Uh, gonna try to bang out this edit. If I did, I finished it at this time. Talk to you later. Oh, and thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Okay, bye.